We're a partner with a lot of media companies and in some instances we're competing. So, um, but where I look at it is there's probably more upside than downside. So, um, given that I don't, we're, we're a telco, we're not a big um, producer of content ourselves, that we have to partner with people um, in order to either produce our content or aggregate their content. So I just see it as um, more of a partnership than anything else. We are testing out ideas, but um, ultimately, I guess it is about the three areas as well. It is about absolutely about our partnerships. And yes, we, we may have a, a business that is um, potentially a competitor to, to organisations that we're um, in partnership with, but I'm sure that we can work through with that. Um, we believe that, look, and, and Red Planet is going to shift in time in change over time, yeah. but ultimately there's enough, look, the, the, the market's big enough for all players and, and we believe that we want, to have a, we want to have a seat at the table. Given our customer base, 50 um, in terms of our mobile penetration and broadband, we've probably got one of the biggest databases of what goes on with customers in Australia. So we have an incredibly powerful machine to be able to segment and say, this group of customers are in this life cycle of their mobility plan, what are the triggers that are either going to retain them and what, um, what at risk do we have of them churning? So if anything, in the last five years, there's been a massive shift of resources um, internally into the what we call a one-to-one -one CRM digital space. Yeah. Um, but we still um, put, you know, we, when we're still launching something big and we want something um, noticed very, very quickly, um, the traditional paid channels still work very, very well for us. I guess it comes back to good content, doesn't it, really, um, for us? And that's why we, we believe that it worked across all those different platforms. Uh, look, we have shifted money, absolutely, in terms of our budget. Um, we're now around 45% into, 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 into digital. That's changed dramatically, really, over the last sort of 12 to 18 months. Um, but they all play an important role. Uh, and I guess it depends on what type of communication you're trying to deliver and what's, what's the ultimate objective of, of, that, of that communication. We've found in some in some times it's taken us a while to get the right people into our Red Planet, um, our Red Planet business. But we're absolutely absolutely uh, determined to make sure we get the right skill set. And in the marketing uh, business overall, we've shifted. And even I mean, it, even our call centres has changed. You know, the way that we're communicating with our customers. So it's not just marketing; it's across the entire business. Mm. This is not just a challenge just for marketing. It, it's it's business wide for us. So we recently just went through a, a bit of a reorder of our. Um responsibilities in the marketing department and we created a, an organisation called Marketing Enablement. So that is the investment of everything that we are in paid, owned and earned. And so we can have a, regardless of the channel, we use one view of how we are spending our money. And that is in partnership with the uh, consumer marketing teams and the um, Telstra business or enterprise marketing teams because we wanted to have a single view of how we're spending our money. Mm -hmm. um, we had media separate to sponsorship, separate to paid, separate to one-to-one. -to -one. So by bringing all the teams together, we're able to say, what problem do you need to solve? What idea do you have? So consequently, what channels do you want to use? And I don't care if the marketing solution is 100% production and no media. And it's all done through social or it's a massive paid campaign because we need awareness of a new model, a, a new mobile plan in four days. So it's really unleashed um, everyone to be, okay, do what's right for the message.